welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we are looking at the newest version of GNS3. This is version, let me show you off here, version 0.7.3. It came out a couple weeks ago and we're going to run through it and talk about the new features. So as you can see, the basic menu system up front is unchanged. Uh, we are missing the sweeper icon that used to be somewhere over here, the yellow sweeper icon for clear topology. But as you can see, it's not a big deal because if we go up to file, we have some other options. And one of them is new blank project and new blank topology. So that accomplishes the same thing. You probably noticed in the bottom right hand corner, we have a separate captures window right here. So if you're running the Wireshark, you can see the captures a little bit easier in there. The node types is similar, nothing really changed there. Let's start up with file. So as we said, we have new blank topology, that is simple. Uh, import and export is now here. Screenshot, so before it was called export, which is kind of a weird name for it. So a screenshot makes a screenshot of your topology and snap snapshot, which saves your configuration for quick retrieval for later. Uh, usually I don't use snapshot too many times. I just start from scratch. Okay, edit. There's nothing too bad there. We're going to go back to iOS images and preferences to see the differences. Uh, view, that's pretty much the same. Let's see, docs here. Of course, here we have the captures dock, which is that bottom right-hand corner. Control, here's a pretty interesting thing. We have reload all devices, so we can kick over all of our routers in one shot, which is pretty nice. Annotate, same thing, and help is help. Okay, so let's take a look at edit and preferences. You're gonna see something interesting here. Let's see, this part is the same, waiting time before you start, that's the same. Auto save, look at that, auto save. So it will auto save your topology every couple seconds, or however you want. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Project directory image, that's basically the same. Terminal settings, as you notice, as we pick the drop down, if you're in Linux, you have K console in there, which is pretty nice. GUI settings, that is the same. Dynamips menu, this is pretty much the same. Capture, that's, uh, I think that's the same. And QMU, uh, this supposedly has been much improved, so a lot of people are very very much liking the Junos and the ASA stuff. So we're going to do a video later about running those. So let's drag in a couple routers and see what's the difference. Whoa, okay, looks like we have to add our iOS image again. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to do, let's see here. I want to try 3725, why not? Oh, here's something very nice. Base configuration, so it will load in a base configuration of your choosing, which is pretty nice. So you could pop in stuff like no IP domain lookup, logging synchronous, no exec timeout, all that good stuff. So you don't have to keep typing it again. And we're going to save on that. We're going to have to redo our idle PC. Uh, by the way, when you install this, just before you install this, they recommend that you completely uninstall GNS 0.72 or whatever version you're running. So just do that through control panel and uninstall the old version before you install the new version. Okay, we have our router dragged in. We're gonna right click on that. We have a nice thing, change the symbol. If you don't like the symbol, I can click on that and change it to whatever. Let's right click on that. You can change the console port now if you wanted to. Suspend, change the auxiliary port. I think this only works on the 7200. Idle PC, we're gonna have to do that. Oh yeah, gotta start it. Hard drive churns a little bit and then console in. Okay, it's going to start up, and then in a couple seconds, I'm going to be able to right-click on that router and do the idle PC. Okay, right-click on that idle PC. This part is the same. 
let the computer think for a couple seconds and then you're going to get a drop down list and pick the one with the star let's see we have a 58 59 i'll take the 58 click ok and we should be good okay now let's drag in another router see if the connection is any different get rid of my node types window there click add a link that looks the same that looks the same if i right click on the link capture please choose source i believe that is the same might be a little different let me start a capture on one of these i guess i have to start it up not a problem Okay, both routers are starting up. I'm going to console into both devices. Okay, they're both up. I'm going to move my windows off screen. Now I'm going to right click capture and we're going to do R2 fast 00. Click OK. And you can see in the bottom right corner, that panel now shows R2 interface fast to 0, 0, and I have Wireshark automatically open. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I can simply right click down here, stop capturing or start Wireshark because I just closed the window. And I'll click stop capturing. Very cool addition to GNS3. Okay, so that's pretty much it of GNS3. The new version 0.7.3. If you're running an old version, I suggest you change, I suggest you update. This is a very, very nice upgrade, and I think you'll like it. Thanks for watching.